The Insorb Absorbable Skin Stapler, the absorbable new standard for skin closure. The Insorb Skin Stapler is not simply a new skin closure device. It truly represents a new surgical modality. This unique device places a proprietary subcuticular absorbable staple entirely within the dermis, resulting in secure, everted closures, combining the comfort, cosmesis, and convenience of absorbable suture with the speed of a metal skin stapler while eliminating the percutaneous insult created by metal skin staples and eliminating the need to remove metal staples post-operatively. The bioabsorbable insorb staple is comprised of a benign polymer of PLA and PGA which is essentially absorbed within 90 to 120 days similar to monocryl suture. The stapler contains 30 staples sufficient to close a wound up to 21 centimeters in length. Over 600,000 patients throughout the world have benefited from the profound advantages of the Insorb Absorbable Skin Stapler. This video is a review of the proper skin closure technique for the revolutionary Insorb Absorbable Skin Stapler. Please refer to the instructions for use for complete instructions, indications, contraindications, adverse reactions, precautions, and warnings. This video does not replace a thorough in-service, including instructions and practice with a hands-on training model provided by an incisive surgical sales professional. Before using the device, you must understand that the Insorb skin stapler is significantly different from using a conventional metal skin stapler and that you must learn a new closure technique to successfully use the device. First, with respect to wound preparation. When excessive wound tension is present or may be expected, supporting sutures are required to ensure closure integrity and to relieve tension from the wound edges for optimal healing and cosmesis. These situations include high tension areas, excisions, over a deep fat layer, obese patients, across a joint, or wounds that may experience excessive swelling. Please note, when closing with insorb absorbable staples, these supporting stitches must be placed at least one centimeter from the wound edges to allow space for the introduction of the stapler nose into the incision and to provide sufficient free skin edge to be brought up around the nose of the stapler covering both blue triangles on the stapler nose. The Insorb skin closure technique consists of one operator and two simple steps. Step 1. Using a single adzen forceps placed across the incision, grasp only 5 millimeters of tissue of both edges and lift. Step 2. While maintaining the lift, firmly mate the stapler with the forceps and fire. To begin to close an incision, grasp only 5 millimeters of tissue at the apex and lift the tissue. While maintaining the lift, insert the nose of the stapler into the wound and move the stapler forward until the stapler and the forceps are firmly mated together. Keeping the stapler level with the plane of the skin, that is, not tipped or pointed downward, compress the lever until the audible click, then release the handle. Remove the stapler from the incision by lifting the stapler directly up. Do not pull backwards. Pulling backward will catch the staple tips in the nose of the stapler, making it difficult to dislodge the stapler from the wound. Continue to close the incision by grasping only 5 millimeters of tissue directly above the last staple placed and lift, firmly mate the stapler with the forceps and fire. A two operator technique may be used as well. One operator uses the stapler while the other operator uses two forceps to grasp 5 millimeters of tissue and present the wound edges to the stapler. For optimal wound security, place insorb staples at 7 mm intervals. Placing staples at intervals greater than 7 mm may compromise wound integrity. To ensure proper staple spacing, grasp directly above the last staple placed and lift. Firmly mate the stapler with the forceps directly below the arrow on the stapler prior to firing. To easily locate the position of the last staple placed, look for the slight indentation or dimple in the epidermis where the tissue is closely approximated. Grasping the open wound edges ahead of the dimple is difficult with a single adze and forceps and will place staples at intervals greater than 7 mm. When placing insorb absorbable subcuticular staples in tight spaces or when placing the final staple in the incision, insorb staples may unintentionally perforate the epidermis due to improper technique. These externally placed staples may be difficult to see at the time of surgery, 
but should not be of concern. Note that these externally placed staples did not spit, but were placed percutaneously and typically do not cause inflammation, redness, oozing, or pain. The insorb absorbable staple is comprised of a benign copolymer. Note the remarkable lack of inflammation around the staple at three weeks post-op. These external staples may be easily removed in the office or simply allowed to fall off with time. Avoid externally placed staples in tight spaces by keeping the stapler level and rocking the stapler side to side to ensure that dermal tissue covers both blue triangles on the right and left underside of the stapler nose prior to firing. If one or both blue triangles are not covered, the advancing needles in the stapler nose will puncture the epidermis, thereby placing an external staple. When both triangles are completely draped with tissue, an external staple placement cannot occur. Continue to place staples using the same technique until there is approximately a one centimeter opening remaining to be closed. To place the final staple in the incision, first reverse the direction of the stapler. Grasp one tissue edge and open the wound sufficient to insert the nose of the stapler in the incision. Once the nose is in the incision, grasp the other edge of tissue and lift the tissue over the stapler nose. Regrasp tissue at the apex and ensure that both blue triangles on the nose of the stapler are covered by rocking the stapler from side to side, lift and fire. When closing an incision in areas of the body that may have flaccid tissue, such as the groin, abdomen, or under the breast, it may be necessary to stretch the incision lengthwise, either manually or with skin hooks or clamps, so that the dermis may be effectively presented to the stapler and that the staples can be placed at 7 millimeter intervals with external staple placements minimized. This tension should be applied to the opposite end of the incision. As with all subcuticular closures, an adhesive dressing or skin glue is encouraged for external wound protection. Please note, the Insorb technology is an interrupted closure modality. That is, there are spaces between the staples that provide pathways for natural wound drainage. Unlike continuous running sutures and metal skin staples that create a barrier which may not allow for natural wound drainage, minor bleeding at the time of closure and early post-op wound drainage may occur with an insorb closure simply due to the interrupted nature of the closure modality. Minor bleeding at surgery is easily controlled by applying light pressure directly on the wound. The four nursing staff should be informed that insorb closures may present wetter dressings than other closure modalities in the first 12 to 18 hours post-op and not to be alarmed. If the wound requires intervention and access post-operatively, simply cut the backspan of a minimum number of staples with the scissors. Do not remove the staple remnants as they will be absorbed without consequence. With proper use, the Insorb Absorbable Skin Stapler is a rapid skin closure modality that results in secure, everted cosmetic closures with the potential of reduced wound complications and eliminates the risk of needle stick injuries. In addition, the Insorb Stapler eliminates the percutaneous insult created by metal skin staples and eliminates the cost, inconvenience, and discomfort of metal skin staple removal. The Insorb Stapler represents a more patient-centric solution for skin closure. In a recent peer review study conducted at the Mayo Clinic College of Medicine and District 1 Hospital in Minnesota and published in a leading scientific journal, the authors concluded, our results suggest that the use of subcuticular absorbable staples for skin closure at the time of cesarean section may lead to less in-hospital analgesic use compared to percutaneous metal skin staples and thereby positively impact a patient's post-operative course. The authors found that the decreased use of IV-administered Toradol associated with absorbable staples would result in a cost savings of approximately $200 per patient even after considering the higher cost of the absorbable stapling device. For more information on the Insorb Absorbable Skin Stapler or to set up an evaluation or in-service, please contact your Incisive Surgical sales representative or Incisive Surgical at 1-877-2-INSORB, extension 32.